Welcome back. In lesson one, part two, we are going to look at painting the world. Let's begin. When you start a new Kodu world, your screen should look similar to this. In order to make the world bigger and to add different textures, you need to select the World Painter tool. When this tool is selected, holding down the left mouse button and dragging around the screen paints more terrain onto your world. Holding down the right mouse button and dragging over existing terrain removes it completely. Using your left and right arrow keys on your keyboard allows you to change the size of your brush so you can add world quickly or do smaller changes. There are two additional tools that appear above the painter tool when it is selected. The first allows you to change the type of terrain you want to draw, which allows you to create more interesting and varied worlds. When you have selected a different terrain, the left mouse button will allow you to paint over existing terrain and add new terrain. Holding control, whilst holding down the left mouse button and dragging, will not draw over existing terrain, but will allow you to add new terrain to your world. Alternatively, holding the shift key and dragging over the world will draw over existing terrain, but not create new terrain. The second tool above the paint brush allows you to select different types of brushes. There are the standard circle and square brushes, the square you've seen me use, this is the circle, and then there are specialist brushes, such as this one, which allows you to drag strips of terrain like the one shown here. Practice and experiment with drawing terrain and using the different brushes, and when you feel confident, move on to my video for part 3 of lesson 1. Thanks for watching.